Hello guys, this is Arkin from HDD Recovery Services. Uh, today I'm working uh, with this memory card using a microscope and a soldering iron. Uh, this device came to our shop um, after uh, salt water damage. Uh, family went on a uh, vacation, they were having fun in the ocean and uh, next thing you know a, a wave maybe came in and splashed the camera or whatever uh, the card got soaked and shortly after it stopped operating stopped working um, this is a typical story for uh, <laughs> I, I call it a Caribbean vacation story uh, this happens quite a lot and I do get a lot of requests uh, for service on uh, uh, devices that are been affected by salt water damage whether they're phones or uh, flash memory devices and uh, this one was pretty interesting I decided to film it because of the extent of the damage that it had um, at the first quick glance um, I didn't think much of it and I thought that honestly this is gonna have to be a chip off case and um, at the time I've looked at the uh, database for the schematics that I have access to and it had uh, nothing um, similar to this so I figured uh, I'm just gonna either leave it till the better days or it will have to go back to the client because I mean I don't want to waste our time uh, and um, provide empty promises but here it is uh, and uh, I um, got uh, curious to see uh, what the connection points of the pads from the interface look like where they meet either the trace or the plane that they correspond with. Uh, all of that was um, uh, triggered by uh, the power uh, VCC pad which you can see in the top left uh, that is really rough on the edges. So um, after that I just pulled out my uh, fiber um, glass scratch pen and started to clear up uh, that mask. The mask uh, is a little bit thick on this card so it took a little bit of time, patiently scraped it all the way and uh, to my surprise I've I've discovered that every single pad is separated from the rest of the card. <laughs> so um, maybe this is not even going to have to be uh, a chip off recovery if uh, no other internals got damaged because of this uh, simple matter of reconnecting uh, pads to the traces and pads to the planes will uh, give us functional device to a point where we can maybe even plug it into a regular uh, card reader and get an efficient read out of this card um, just like it was operating the last time so um, uh, all of that mask has to be scraped off uh, flux has to be applied to both parties top and bottom uh, tin both parts top and bottom and uh, use a really fine uh, I'm gonna use a 40 gauge wire to connect them to bond them together and a uh, nano station to uh, assist with that from JVC so let's uh, get to work guys I am uh, going to get my wire here and uh, start tinning away so this is the wire that we're going to be working with uh, pretty thin as you can see let me zoom out a little bit this is the wire so it's a coated wire so uh, before I go ahead and start um, soldering it onto uh, the card I'm gonna have to heat it up a little bit so that the coating peels back a bit leaving the leaving the copper wire exposed uh, every time I do this on camera it just looks like I'm struggling <laughs> even though I'm not um, all right so let's go and let's start soldering this thing up and when we're done hopefully this thing will work just like the new card apply a little bit of solder on both parties to tin it and then it will be very easy to um, bond the wire up uh, just because everything is very close like the, the ground planes are really close to the traces not to short them out you want to make sure that the wire is thin enough uh, to kind of follow the contour of the uh, traces 
certain, like, I mean, using something like a 30 gauge wire in this situation would be uh, pretty dumb. Um, so that's why I'm using a 40. Maybe this is actually a 42. No, I think it's 40, 40 gauge. Uh, cut it off. And uh, don't just like cut right into the wire, just pinch it and then twist it back and forth until it breaks free. So that way you don't damage the rest of the trace. There. So now we're just going to do the same thing to the rest of them. Maybe add a bit more on ground and power just to beef them up and uh, wash away the, the flux and put it in the reader. Uh, this is the uh, final product or at least what it looks like not the prettiest thing out there but it is uh, hopefully an effective functional unit now so let me just go ahead and plug this in to the back of my computer and what do we have here on the screen we've got the uh, uh, DCIM folder which is what we were looking for um, and <laughs> Let me try to browse it this way. Here we go. We've got the files right here. Uh, if you guys dropped your card in a uh, salt water, um, whether it's the ocean, the sea, or even like a salt water pool, and it doesn't work, that's probably why. This unit was monolithic, uh, so no corrosion around components that would be on the exterior. Everything is embedded inside, so that was the solution. If you need help, link in the description. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, and uh, notify yourself with a little bell button when the next video drops. I hope this video was useful and this could help you in the future get your data back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.